G'day there everyone, Uncle Jojo, great to see you all again. Today I've got a bit of a treat for you. I have a site here that is for the waffle pod slabs, or what I refer to as raft slabs. Now, I'm gonna be able to show you, um, just before the concrete pour, how they're set up and what goes into them. So this is the difference between a waffle pod slab and a conventional slab. You'll see here that the waffle slab just sits on the ground. Uh, it's got a recess for the brickwork. And on this side, I'll also be able to show you how a waffle slab just sits on the ground and how it's been boarded up. So step with me and check, 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 check it out. Here we have uh, the Rio already in place. We've got our mesh coming through and you can see the gaps between the polystyrene. And the polystyrene itself just sits onto the plastic. There's some bars that run through to tie it in together, but that's the basic layout. There's also a top trench mesh that sits underneath the Rio bar here, you can see that. And then we've got our Rio just sitting over the top there. This here, you can see just here, that the plastic is straight onto the ground there. Under here, just there, there's nothing digging this waffle slab into the ground. And if we step over here, we can see the exact same thing here. This is one just before all of the boarding goes up. Here's the plastic and this plastic's just sitting on the ground. The bars are laid and then the pods or the polystyrene will sit between all of those. So here you can see that we've got the polystyrene blocks. The polystyrene blocks are usually about 11 by 11 and about a foot high or 12 inches high which is 300 millimetres. These are very lightweight, which makes it quick and easy for them to be put into place. Uh, the major problem that we're finding wherever these are used is that they're hollow inside. You can see here they're hollow inside and they're very lightweight. So what ends up happening is that they fill with uh, moisture and then they can buckle and warp up all the water washes from underneath them and then the termites and things get into them. So that's the biggest difference between a conventional slab, which you've probably already seen my video on conventional slabs, and this here is the waffle slab or the polystyrene raft slab as I refer to them. As a builder, one of the biggest things problems that we're having is being able to compete with other builders that do this. You've seen conventional slabs. Conventional slab will take approximately two weeks to build, form up, dig um, and pour. Whereas one of these conventional slabs, we, you can chuck the formwork up and the, and the polystyrene in a day and then do the pour in another day. So only two days compared to two weeks. So as a residential builder, it's very hard to compete with a development company that does uh, one, two, three, three slabs in one day compared to me that does, or another residential builder that does one slab in two weeks. The cost that goes into it, the time that goes into it, the material that goes into it, and the skill that goes into it. If you've got any questions or queries, please flick them over. I'll answer them best I can. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay unreal, banana peel. I'll see you in the soup.